everyone. This is Zena from the Nonprofit Support Agency. Thank you for joining us. Today's video is going to discuss the five key steps to starting a successful nonprofit organization. Starting a nonprofit can be a rewarding and meaningful way to make a difference in the world. Not only are you changing people's lives, but it is also an opportunity for personal and professional growth. I am also a nonprofit founder, and I can honestly say that starting a nonprofit has been the most challenging, but also the most rewarding experience. It can also be a stressful experience if it's not done the correct way, right? Having the ability to create a successful organization gives shape to our boldest dreams, highest ideals, and noblest causes. I mean, think about it. We are creating organizations that feed people, heal those with physical and mental ailments. We're creating organizations that provide housing to those who are homeless, or education for those without access, or those with learning disabilities. We are creating organizations that inspire, enlighten, and nurture people of every age, gender, race, and socioeconomic status. Creating a nonprofit can be a powerful and wonderful thing when done right. So let's review the five key steps to creating a successful organization. Step one, creating a successful nonprofit organization involves more than correctly filing your paperwork. But the first step is to correctly file your paperwork. To create your nonprofit organization, you will have to do the following. Decide on a name for your organization, get an EIN or employer identification number, file for your articles of incorporation, create your bylaws, apply for federal and state tax exemption, register with the Attorney General's Registry of Charitable Trust, establish a board of directors, and obtain any necessary business licenses or permits. Please note, we do have a video on starting a nonprofit organization. I will provide the link in the description below. Step two is to develop a mission statement and define your organization's purpose. A mission statement is a short statement of the organization's purpose or reason for existing. It typically includes information about the organization's goals, values, and the audience it serves. The mission statement helps to guide decision-making within the organization, communicate its purpose to stakeholders, and create a sense of direction and focus for its employees. Step three, create a strategic plan and set measurable goals. A strategic plan is a comprehensive document that outlines the organization's goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics to achieve its mission and vision. The plan typically includes a SWOT analysis or an analysis of the organization's strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, as well as, as a review of its external environment and stakeholders. It may also identify key performance indicators, timelines, and resource requirements to implement the plan. A good strategic plan serves as a roadmap for the organization, helping it to focus its resources, prioritize activities, and measure progress towards its goals. It also helps to ensure that the organization's activities are aligned with its mission and values and that it is effectively serving its stakeholders. A well-crafted strategic plan can help a nonprofit organization be more effective, efficient, and sustainable in achieving its mission. Businesses have business plans, and nonprofit organizations have strategic plans. Step four, build a sustainable fundraising model and identify potential funding sources. To build a sustainable fundraising model, you must diversify your funding sources. Relying on a single funding source, such as grants or donations, can be very risky. And remember, 
you cannot rely on grants alone. A more sustainable approach is to diversify your funding sources to include grants, donations, sponsorships, fundraising events, earned income, and partnerships. Side note, years ago I attended a grant writing seminar and I met the director of one of the largest food banks in our area. She told me that her goal for the year was to write and submit 100 grants. For those of you who have ever written a grant, it can be a, an exhaustive experience. 100 grants a year is about eight grants a month or two grants a week, and that's a lot of work. I've never written this many in a year, but it is a numbers game. The more you write, the more you win. In addition to grants, you can seek out private donations from the public. Do not think that you have to wait to become a large organization to request donations from private donors. As soon as you are able, start working on building your private donor list. You can send emails, host events, seek donations on your social media, in your newsletter, and on your website. Step five. Build a strong team and leverage partnerships to achieve your mission. Once funding comes in, the team you hire is very important to the success of your organization. Your first step will be to clarify the roles and responsibilities of each team member and ensure that everyone understands the organization's mission, values, and goals. This will help to build a sense of alignment and ownership and ensure that everyone is working towards the same objectives. You will also need to recruit talented and passionate individuals who share your organization's value and vision. This means seeking out individuals with relevant skills and experience and creating an environment that fosters collaboration, creativity, and innovation. You will also need to develop a culture of learning and development. This means investing in training and professional development opportunities, providing feedback and coaching, and creating opportunities for team members to learn from you and each other. Next, it will be important to seek out strategic partnerships. Leveraging partnerships is a Leveraging partnerships is critical to achieving your nonprofit's mission. This means seeking out partners who share your organization's goals and values and working together to achieve shared objectives. Strategic partnerships can help to expand your reach, leverage resources, and achieve greater impact. Newer organizations may look to partner with mid-sized or larger organizations as a sum as a subcontractor. This is a great way to secure your first contract or grant. In summary, in order to create a successful organization, first, complete all the necessary paperwork. Next, develop a mission statement and define your purpose. Create a strategic plan and set goals. Build a sustainable fundraising model. And Build a strong team and leverage partnerships. And with that, we will conclude today's training. As always, thank you for joining us and spending your time with us. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please visit our channel for more content and training designed to help you create and grow a successful nonprofit organization. See you next time.